Good morning, good afternoon, good, e- good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Chit Chat with Tina Bovina. And I'm just going to... I'm kind of reinventing myself in where I'm going forward. Um, For a lot of years I've been doing card readings and teaching meditation and uh, um, I was a registered massage therapist in, in Calgary, Alberta and For anyone who is new to my channel, I'm kind of just sitting in reflection and really have gone deep within myself and for people who've been following me they'll have noticed that I haven't been really posting um, card readings much anymore Um, like they're not every week anymore Um, because I'm going deeper within myself and learning to understand the the bigger picture, the zoom out, if you will, and look at the bigger picture of what's really playing out here in this timeline, in this frequency, in this dimension that we're living in. And you know, as the change, as, as fall has come and the leaves are changing and, um, and I see so much connection with nature and yet I see so much disconnect with people. And really understanding just how deep this really goes um, with the polarities of life here on this 3D frequency that we're living in, in this timeline. And if you're just coming on to this and, and you know, this is all new to you and uh, there's so many teachers that teach this um, this type of work Um, or is it really work like I let's not even use that word they've awakened up to their what they're here to do most call it a mission and really nobody wants to call it a mission um, we're, we're waking up, we're being activated because, I don't know if you heard that, um, the, the, the chickens, uh, I should, I should, uh, introduce you to the chickens and, uh, um, and for anyone who, like has been following me, and um, I just want to show you my almost. She's still going. I'm impressed. Um, four, wow, four, four, four. As I do that, she's just. Um, let me just. I've been taking a lot of pictures of her, and um, but we also know that. <laughs> The, the roosters are starting to do their cuckoo. 
and also the dance of trying to get the ladies. We've got two kings here. <laughs> We've got the crows. Lots of messengers here. Yeah, there's um, really no... <laughs> the, the, there's no... I'm just going to, I'm going to ramble and I'm going to be vulnerable and um, I'm putting myself out there. I'm putting myself out there because um, I've been in hermit mode for quite a while now and, um, you know, there is going to be... Um, the challenges of the two polarities of of people who get it and people who don't. Um, I've come to the point where as we get older, you have to let go of your fears. You've got to let go of your ego because the ego mind is what's keeping people back from their potential. And uh, I'm just going to put in there because they, I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm starting to really understand. I'm starting to really understand when you get chickens, just how incredibly quirky they are and funny. And they all have these different personalities and, right, we... Um, we're not separate. We're not separate from anything. We truly aren't. And um, it's a really beautiful, it's a really beautiful thing to realize that we've been so believed or brainwashed to believe that we are separate from everything and everyone to the point where I have seen so much destruction, um, you know, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, and I'm like deeply sensitive to the connection to Mother Earth. And so when I see, you know, the devastation of, uh, what man is doing to Mother Earth. It's also understanding that there is always life that uh, brings a smile on your face. And that there's always this evolution of the planet Earth, Mother Earth, that she certainly doesn't need us, but we need her. And uh, I don't watch the news much, but, uh, you know, I am on the social platform, so I'm seeing a lot of what's going on in in uh, North Carolina, very beautiful place. And it hit me very hard, but I also know that it is not climate change. Um, I know that none of it is when you go down the rabbit hole, that it's uh, once again about money. And, but now let's, Let's step back from that belief system. And all the teachings that we talk about, universal law, um, so examples, Abraham Hicks talks about the universal law, getting in the warp text, 
you listen to to many teachers. You talk, listen to Dr. Joe Dispenza. Um, there's so many Louise Hayes. I mean, there's there's so many have passed on to Wayne Dyer. I mean, you have Bruce Lipton, who is he's still here, um, and uh, I'm now following this R.J. Spina and uh, Peter Pete Sapper on YouTube, and talking about that we are a creator of a reality. Now, all these teachers, Matt Kahn talks about this, talks about our consciousness. Um, some of them go very deep, and, and you you follow um, ones that are doing podcasts with teachers that are are um, deep in in um, geometrics and synchronicities. 11.13 as I look up. <laughs> um, and the only thing that I can understand and explain is what is going on here as we are shifting through the photon belt. 26,000 year cycle as the sun shoots off solar flares and is doing upgrading to humanity. That's what the Great Awakening is. Is, understand, is to understand that we are awakening to who we really are. And so a lot of us are going, who are we? Who am I? Well, you are the creator. I am. That's what R.J. Spina and Pete Zapper, who was learning from R.J. Spina and other teachers, because I've been following a lot of different teachers, and they all say the same thing, except they teach it in a different way. And I think when the student is ready, the teacher shows up. And you can want, like, I have been on a spiritual journey for a long time, learning a lot of different things and feeding my mind um, a deep spiritual awareness of consciousness. And... In order to do this, to achieve it, I needed to go into hermit mode, to not be so distracted. And it's, it's still distraction when you're on all these social platforms, but I'm constantly feeding my, my mind um, uh, spiritual teachings of awareness and consciousness. And because I'm learning to deprogram the program. I mean, our subconscious mind has been deeply programmed. And uh, from the polarity, the dark side of the, our planet. Of, of, and, but what I do know is because we are in the age of Aquarius is and and you know history is showing that for thousands and thousands of years this has been going on for thousands of years it's these spiritual wars right and whatever you believe in and a lot of our history has been hidden um I think when they talk about consciousness, we 
when they say you are that powerful, you're that powerful. I really do believe whatever you focus on, you attract, you create. So Dolores Cannon is another one that talks a lot about this, that basically, and then there's near-death experience stories. There's tons of those. I mean, I'm talking tons of those on YouTube that talk about that there's this light and, there's, and you're going back to love. It's just incredible amounts of love. We're here on a journey to experience every aspect of emotion of everything because on planet earth this is the only place in all of the cosmos and the galaxy where you can be in a vessel and experience all of this and we choose to be here on the densest planet in, in all of the cosmos We choose to be here. We choose to feel everything. So now if people say, you know, like, if there was a God, and I used to have these conversations with my dad, who was raised Christian. Um, he goes, if there was a God, why would he let there be so much suffering? Because God is you. You are a fractal of God. You, you are the universe. You are the creator. Yes, there, are, there is an army of higher beings. Angels, guides, and holy, woods, ho holy ones. ETs, aliens, and they've been also, humanity has been taught to fear aliens. Um, there's been a lot of movies out there like that, but there's also been ET. Um, they're for entertainment pur purpose, but are they really? Um, they, part of it is, has been part of our programming. It's free will. You choose what you want to let into your life. And I'm really, really seeing what they mean about being in the vortex, Abraham Hicks, and the heart coherence and connecting to the higher heart and the brain. How do you experience love? You, you have to, you have to step into it. You have to experience yourself. So the journey of you coming to experience unconditional love is through opening your eyes and seeing what's all around you. Like, the, like here I have the chickens. We have um, my almost 20 year old cat. Nature, really, really embracing the moment right here and right now. And then watching your thoughts to make sure that you don't keep going back to the subconscious narrative that we've been programmed. There's been a lot of brainwashing going on within um, our timelines. Um, and what I truly am knowing and understanding there's a deeper knowing that everything is okay so all this stuff that we are seeing the neg negativity of what we're seeing in, in the world which again I really don't Put a lot of energy into it. It just comes along around my feed. Um, you 
it's hard for people to understand. that we sign these contracts to come here and experience everything that we are here to experience, to wake up humanity. Now, because we are the creator of our reality, whatever you focus on, you create. So, it's really about observing and becoming aware of your thoughts and where, what you're focusing on, who surrounds you. Everything is a mirror. Whatever is being projected onto you is a mirror of some reflection of you. It is some reflection of you. Whatever you focus on is a projection of some reflection of you. That's a hard one to, a hard pill to swallow when you start looking at everyone. And then you understand that everyone is a fractal of God, which is you. We are one. We are all connected. We're all connected. We're not separate from anything, not one thing. It's an incredible time to be alive on this planet. It's not always so easy for people to understand when they're going through it. But what I do know, it's about trusting in it, trusting Trusting in the plan, trusting in where your life is flowing and where it's going, and being aware of your conscious thoughts. Consciousness is everything, is an awareness that you are source, that you are the creator, you are God in its essence, a fractal of all that is. And when we say, where we go one, we go all. We're not kidding. I love you all. And have a beautiful weekend. And keep shining your light. Peace out.